this I like okay so one of my favorite movies is the devil wears Prada how come I've literally watched it probably at least 10 times and I did not did not realize that that was Giselle Bündchen um, as one of like wasn't she like the assistant like I had no clue until I read that so who did anybody else not realize that like anyway Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Cruelty Free Models, a place to discover the industry's top cruelty-free and eco-conscious models and industry professionals. We'll also be talking about all things cruelty-free and eco-friendly, and as always, have a little fun. So today, you guys, um, we are going to be taking a look into Victoria's Secrets, and basically I'm going to be going over five of the top eco-friendly um, Victoria's Secret models over the years. Um, I kind of just went through the entire list and chose a few that I felt were kind of contributing or at least doing a small part in making things a little bit better for the animals and the environment. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. So first up, we are going to talk about Bridget Malcolm. Now she is an Australian model and she is represented by uh, Women's Management, IMG Models, and New, S New Scout Management, I believe. I think there's a few more, but those are the ones that um, first came up. So this gorgeous girl um, started modeling when she was 14. And since then, she has walked the 2015 and 2016 uh, fashion show for, for Victoria's Secrets. She's also walked for uh, Kenneth Cole, Ralph Lauren. So she's definitely been getting, making her rounds. Um, she's also walked for Stella McCartney. I can't leave that one out. Um, so besides shows, she's also appeared in magazines such as Harper's Bazaar, Playboy, um, and most recently the cover of Elle France. From her website, and I'll leave a link to her website in the description below, um, she states, Growing up, I had a tendency to avoid eating meat for no other reason than a general unease about eating animals. One day in 2009, I watched a series of documentaries on PETA's website, and that was it for me. I went back and forth between being vegetarian and vegan for several years, for a few years, I'm sorry, but made the commitment at the beginning of 2015 to be fully vegan and she has been vegan ever since so we commend her for that and that's an awesome story uh bridget malcolm also is a mental health advocate and she is the co-host of her own podcast called model mentality so yes love that next up and i am probably going to pronounce her name wrong so i'm going to um add it um I'm gonna add it into the video afterwards. Her name is Vita Sidorkina. Am I? God, I'm saying that again. Okay, so this is a gorgeous Russian model, and she is best known for walking in the Victoria's Secret show, fashion show 2015. So she walked in one of the same ones that Bridget walked in. Um, she has posed for Sports Illustrated swimsuit. Um, Elle, Vanity Fair, Marie Claire. Um, so she is no stranger to the spotlight. Um, she is represented by IMG Models as well and Elite Model Management. Now she also, I love how so many models, they don't just leave it at the modeling. They always, you know, branch off and start something else because as you know, Modeling careers are very short, so you best to have something as a backup. <laughs> so uh, Vita has a plant-based gelato company. It's called Vital for Life. And this company is based in Miami. And if you want to find out more about it, again, I'll leave a description in the link below. It looks hella good. So definitely check it out, especially if you live in the Florida or Miami area. Yeah, so next up we have Trish Goff, and she's a little bit more old school, but she is definitely one of my favorites, so I cannot leave her out of this list. 
Um, now, Trish was born and raised in northern Florida, and she began modeling full-time at just the age of 13. Oh, I'm so sorry. She started modeling at the age of 15. My bad. She's done so many campaigns. She's done campaigns from Fort Banana Republic, Chanel, Chloe, Christian Dior, Gap, Ann Taylor. The, I mean, the list goes on. Louis Vuitton, Versace. I mean, this girl. Yeah. She's the real deal. <laughs> now, she um, walked for s several Victoria's Secret um, shows. So, um, I did. I don't have the exact years. If you know, leave it in the description. Leave it in the comments below. But yeah, she walked for several, several Victoria's Secret fashion shows, and um, even people like Alexandra Wang and so many others. Um, <clears throat> now, to my favorite part, Trish co-founded a campaign called "Not on My Planet." Love this. Now, basically, she partnered with the Elephant Crisis Fund, um, and this was to help provide a secure future for elephants by forging partnerships with, like, fashion brands and, and that sort of thing. Fashion brands, luxury brands, uh, you name it. Now, 100% of every dollar donated goes directly to projects on the ground to end the ivory trade. The, com the campaign is a nod to the adage that tying a knot ensures you remember and that an elephant never forgets. Yes. So again, I'll leave a uh, link to the campaign webpage. And we are going to move on to the next model, which is Miranda Kerr. I'm sure everybody knows who that is, so she needs no introduction. Now, Miranda started, she's the one that started modeling at the age of 13, which to me is like, I don't know, y'all. That's just, it's so young. And, and it was a controversy when it happened, too. A lot of people spoke out about how young she was. But anyway, so Miranda has done campaigns for the Voodoo Dolls, Levi's, Betsy Johnson, Neiman Marcus, um, Rockin' Republic, and even Sea Folly Swimwear, which is out of her, uh, which is out of Australia. Of course, she's appeared on hundreds of magazine covers, including Elle and Harper's Bazaar. So again, Miranda Kerr is most known, obviously, for appearing in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. She was in the 20, yeah, 2007 show, and she actually was the first Australian model to ever walk that runway. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so uh, Miranda is also has a side business, a side hustle, well, although it might be her full-time thing now, um, called uh, Cora Organics, which is a all-natural, cruelty-free uh, skincare brand. Now, according to the Cora website, most of the range is also classified as vegan, which is great news for all my vegan uh, friends. Uh, this only excludes two products. Their uh, Noni Glow Face Balm and their Noni Glow Body Balm which um, the only thing that don't make those um, vegan is the beeswax. So yes, I will leave a link to her website for Cora Organics in the description. Okay, last but not least, my second favorite is Giselle Bunchen. Um, probably the most famous on the list. So Giselle basically is Again, as I've said in one of my other videos, she is the bomb.com. So she has appeared in more on more than 1,200 magazine covers. And that ranges from Rolling Stones, Time, Forbes, Newsweek, and just 
some of the top magazines from Vogue, Cosmo, Elle, Harper's Bazaar, so on and so forth. She has, she's appeared in thousands of campaigns from Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, Neiman Marcus, um, Dolce & Gabbana, Valentino. Like I could go on and on and on, but I'm not. <laughs> so down to the good stuff. Here's a little fun fact that I thought you guys might enjoy. Giselle is credited with pioneering the model horse walk. You know that walk where you kick your foot out? It's kind of like a stomp, but you, you walk with your knees high and you kick your foot out. Yeah, so she was <clears throat> credited with basically making it popular. Anyway, so Giselle was a Victoria's Secret angel from 2000 until mid-2007. So, very long career with Victoria's Secrets. In fact, her contract with Victoria's Secret is said to have been the biggest in the fashion industry, like, period. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I read. <laughs> now, you guys, when I read this, I, like, okay, so one of my favorite movies is The Devil Wears Prada. How come I've literally watched it probably at least 10 times and I did not, did not realize that that was Giselle Bündchen um, as one of, like, wasn't she like the assistant? Like I had no clue until I read that. So who, did anybody else not realize that? Like, anyway. So she also has had a couple parts, obviously, like I said, in The Devil Wears Prada, but also and uh, she was executive producer of an educational environmental cartoon called Giselle and the Green Team. I've never heard of that, so I'm going to have to find that and check it out. And I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys how it goes. But apparently that was from 2010 to 2011. Giselle and the Green Team. Love that. All right. <clears throat> so... I don't know if you've watched my video on protest, like model protest and PETA protest or whatever, but I covered this in that in that video. So if you wanna learn more, go to that one. Um, so <clears throat> after being bombarded in 2002 by PETA protesters carrying Giselle fur scum signs, and this was during the Victoria's Secret fashion show, um, she decided to no longer condone the use of fur. So that actually worked. <laughs> Ever since then, Giselle has become a vocal environmentalist. And according to PETA, Giselle actually ended up researching how animal agriculture devastates the environment, harms human health, and hurts animals. And she and her family are now thriving on a mostly plant-based diet. Talk about a comeback kid story. Love it. Love, love, love that. Okay, you guys. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, of course, enjoyed hanging out with you guys once again. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video and leave me a comment in the description. Um, let me know if you knew that that was Giselle in A Devil Wears Prada. Because I sure didn't. Anyway. I will see you guys next time and love you guys and I'll see you later.